Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a card of someone who is trying to juggle between more than one thing. This could be trying to prioritize work, career, and love, for example, or it could even be choosing between um, opposing beliefs, head versus heart, or friends versus love um you know family there's that kind of energy of being between two things um there's also an energy of having a lot on one's plates possibly being quite busy and um trying to prioritize um both things here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the six of cups water energy the five of swords air energy and the ace of wands fire energy so it does look like you may be the one here juggling between two things but it could be the other way but with the six of cups there's an energy of um like a past energy lingering um someone from the past could be returning someone you fell out with you had an ending with um with the five of swords being in the reverse there's this energy of them wanting to reconcile with you and wanting to make peace with you this can be a peace offering um this is someone who is remembering the good times they shared with you there's fond memories and they're still very hung up on you like this could be someone who's having dreams about you the, the emotional attachment is still very present and they are um, coming towards you but it does look as if this could be them coming towards you at a time when you've already moved on because it looks like there's already a new energy presence here with the ace of wands you could be you know igniting something new you feel a spark with someone else and there's this passionate beginning happening in your life when this past person returns so this could be you trying to kind of decide between both situations you know kind of being a bit torn on what to do um feeling overwhelmed you know with the two of pentacles trying to find some sort of balance um but it does look like there's someone here who who's wanting your attention from the past and then we also have this passionate beginning you're connecting with someone who is very drawn towards you very attracted to you there's mutual desire and interest here with the ace of wands and it looks like something that's already kind of started even if it's in its beginning stages it looks like it's already kind of taking off so Let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. And this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So we're seeing again, there's already something here that's beginning, you know, with this page of Pentacles Energy. It's like it's in its beginning stages. But whoever this is that you're connecting with, I'm seeing a new person here who is really putting in effort. Someone who is um, able to kind of match your energy. Someone who's putting their best foot forward. They're consistent and reliable and committed to making something work with you. Um, so you may feel a bit torn because whoever this past person is, it does look like you gave up on them because of this five of, of swords energy the five of swords can be like game playing it can be ego it can be a power struggle it, there's this feeling of you having kind of dropped your swords and felt even defeated by that person in the past that you actually decided to move on you know and it looks like you moved towards a new connection with someone who's quite sincere but you're still getting to know this person with the page of pentacles this is like a newish energy so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the ace of wands again fire energy the three of wands fire energy and the page of wands 
fire energy so yeah it looks like whoever this is this past person they were actually waiting for you they thought you would come back to them they expected you to come back to them so this is someone who they did it they didn't perceive something as an ending but you could have perceived it as that and acted accordingly but it does look like this person still wants growth and expansion with you they're still optimistic and hopeful and it looks like they'll be pursuing you as well so we're seeing two cards of you know two people could be coming towards you you may have to make a decision between two with the two of pentacles um but we do see this past person you know initiating contact um this is someone who you could have felt like when you dealt with them they were a little bit immature or um there's something about them you know not really being able to um, match your energy there was an incompatibility of some sort um, or they handled something in a very childish manner and they let their pride and their ego get the best of them and yeah this person was arrogant they 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 thought you would be the one to come back to them you would chase them or you know th this is how they were expecting things to play out and it didn't play out the way that they had expected and now they're kind of coming back with their tail between their legs because with that five of swords in the reverse even if they are coming back with that their tail in their legs between the legs it the five of swords in the reverse is showing that they are coming back with the intention to to do right by you they're coming back with the intention to have a peaceful reconciliation they want to be on good terms with you they are putting ego and pride aside this is someone who still has a lot of love and feelings for you and with the six of cups being here this person you have history with them but there's also a feeling of past life history like this is someone where the connection was almost karmic um there's something about like a soul tie here so this is someone who um you could have things with them could have moved very quickly and you didn't really have the chance to assess this person and something about things moving too quickly that it led to a power struggle um you know it led to fear you know games being played um and with the six of cups though this person is still memory having memories of you um you're, you're showing up in their dreams they feel a pull towards you they feel like they need to make their way to you because they still feel emotionally attached to you and they are under the impression that you're still emotionally attached to them as well so it does look like this person is going to try to reconcile with you um but we are still seeing here with the page of pentacles a new person as well um someone who is quite sincere someone who is um i'm seeing conscientious like this is a good person um an honest trustworthy person um but you're still getting to know them and it does look like they're putting in effort they're they're putting in time this is someone who came in with you know their best foot forward from the beginning you know this is someone who hasn't wronged you they they're showing up as genuine and actually capable of consistency and commitment and you know something stable with them we're seeing a grounded individual here um but we're still seeing again it's like a past energy could come into interfere here and you may be having to make a decision okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius Okay, we have you are good enough full moon in virgo okay so it does look like you will get some sort of like whatever this person is coming towards you to tell you even if you choose not to move forward with that person something about hearing them out could help your perspective so that you don't view yourself in a certain light you know there's something about that situation where this there's, there's things you don't know and they could offer you some clarity so that you can move forward with you know this feeling of self worth and self-love um you know kind of like giving you that closure or that understanding of why things didn't work out with the past person um but whether or not you move forward with them is up to you but there is a message here of self-love self-respect um this person I, I do see them remembering you fondly remembering you as someone who was quite selfless towards them someone who was kind and good to them and so this is why they are coming back around because they 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 can't forget or get over how kind or how good you were to them okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you sagittarius
okay we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so you could be in a, already in a honeymoon stage with someone else like in a good period with a new person um you know where you're feeling optimistic about that love you're feeling good about them and then it's like there's something about you being happy you kind of having moved forward from the past you know it's like a past person maybe sensing that or something but it's like they're coming towards you when you're in a good place and when you're almost kind of over them okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you sagittarius okay we have power and healing to get what you love, you first have to be patient with what you have. Okay, so it does look like that past person is someone who was quite significant because it looks like at one point you really wanted that person and you could have also hoped that they would come back to you. And when they didn't, it looks like at some point you accepted that they weren't and that the connection may not have been for you and that you moved on. Um, and you could you could have taken time to really heal from that connection. You could even still be healing from that connection. Um, but there is this feeling of, you know, something coming back around and, you know, it's like this encounter, you know, this hearing from this person again or seeing this person again may help you in your healing journey. It may be an empowering moment for you, you know, regardless of whether you choose to move forward with them or not. But there's this feeling of you feeling empowered. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay, we, we have surrendered to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. So yeah, it looks like you, you may be in a happy place here or you're moving towards a very happy place, a happy period in your life. And you're, you're being advised to, um, to accept that joy, like allow yourself to be happy. Um, go towards the person who brings you joy. You know, don't settle for something um, that doesn't bring you joy. You know, there's something about a, a connection that was hard to break, but ask yourself if it made you happy, like if there was joy there. Um, or if this new person makes you feel joy, you know, there's something here about really listening to your body and what lights you up, um, you know, because there could be an attachment to the past person. But is there is it is it something healthy? Is it something that, um, you, you know, I, does your nervous system like this person? You know, do they make you feel good? You know, there's something here about allowing yourself to be happy because you do deserve to be happy. You know, you don't have to settle for a situation that makes you miserable. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.